Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Tact OP Destiny episode number 9. All right, the previous episode um we had the final battle with Schindler and he is gone for good, hopefully. Hopefully we won't get to get to see him again. Uh in the end there was a little surprising uh thing that um what's the name hell hell and heaven the other girl who we have been seeing with uh, zagan you know both of them they are acquainted with each other and they're working together i guess working under zagan for some kind of a goal and she was basically just uh you know like schindler was just there as a replacement or like uh you know like what can i say just to fill the seat or something like that he was there just for that so yeah like in the previous episode hell was like you know what yeah like your job is done you're fired go home and that was just it like <laughs> like the way he was like you know so haughty and so you like, can looking down on the others type of attitude he had um suddenly seeing it coming crushing down <laughs> In front of you and realizing that yeah maybe i'm not as good as i thought i was you know and seeing the person go through that um i don't feel bad obviously because that's schindler you know like he deserved that and yeah and after all the things that he had did i think that was a little too nice i th i think like uh, he probably deserved a lot more than that but well yeah hopefully we don't get to see her again uh, see him again and yeah that's it for him but we still don't know anything about hell and heaven um probably we'll get to know more in this episode or in the future episodes and in the previous episode we saw how destiny and uh you know uh, tact kind of came to an understanding and you know uh like we see how destiny is changing little by little and by the end of it we also see how they accepted her for who she is that is destiny not gazette so yeah that was it so let's see what this episode brings so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number nine of dark op destiny so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go oh eroishka eroika Ooh. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so who was Okay, wait, where are they going? Okay. All right, so I'm guessing these last few episodes, I'm not even sure how many episodes this will have. Like, there's no mention. I'm guessing by the way this is going, it's probably will be 12 or 13 episodes, something like that. Um, yeah, because I feel like this is like, you know, kind of coming to a conclusion because I don't know, like I kind of get this feeling like things are kind of coming because most probably because of how destiny is changing, you know how she is kind of becoming like getting more human emotions and stuff and seeing the rate of progression i feel like this is probably going to be like a 12 or 13 episode and since this is like you know based on a game which has still not released i doubt this will have a same season 
It'll probably continue from the game or something when the game comes out. It's a gacha game. I do plan on kind of checking it out after watching this anime when it comes out. If it has a global, you know, release. So, yeah, anyways, okay. Damn. Oh, are they, in, are they already in America? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they are. Hmm. Yeah, like everything's so normal here, unlike all the other places. Lotte. Hmm. Yeah, all the big shots are here. Damn. No music. That's one. Yeah, there you go. His hand. Oh my god, look at his hand. Oh great, something's going to happen. Yeah, something is actually bothering him in his hand. Oh god. Oh, is this a sister? Yeah. Oh, that's the dad and mom. Okay. Yeah, it's everything's new for her. I think they does know that she became destiny. They do know. And then they know. Okay. Yeah, hopefully there's no side effects. Yeah, that as well. Hmm, okay. Oh. Damn. Haha. <laughs> wow. Oof. This. Oh, are these on music arts? Ah, I think so. Like a few of the. Wow, this is... Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I did not know that. Boy. Yeah. Oh boy. Yep. There you go. Oh my god, it's on the neck as well. Hmm. <laughs> then okay
Okay. Oh, her name is Charlotte. That's a lot. Okay. 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 Interesting question. All right. We won't be able. What? Wait. What? What does that mean? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh boy. So it cannot be severed. Okay, so can we just, um, oh no, yeah, God, I was kind of thinking it was going to go in this direction. Mm. <sighs> My God. So Okay, I have, I don't know, I kind of, I'll talk about this after this uh, episode ends. Like, I have a thought about this. <laughs> uh. Oh boy. Yep, nothing comes in front of her and her sweets. <laughs> uh. Oh no. Okay. Oh my god, they're dragging him. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> High definition food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's not even finishing his food and they're dragging him to somewhere else. <laughs> okay.
Yeah, what do we do about this situation even? What? <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god here we go <laughs> she doesn't stop eating Hmm. Okay, that doesn't make sense, but you know what? Oh. Oh, this is a okay. Yeah. Ooh. Is this his? I don't think this is his dad because his dad was. I don't know. Or is this? I don't know. Anyways. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, she doesn't know. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, the D2 needs to go because of that. Nah, she's not going to choose that. Hmm. 
Okay. Oh, it's heaven. Okay, so they're here as well. Okay. Well, yeah, this is the main headquarters. So. Oh boy, what what's going to happen after this? Uh. Oh no, D2? Oh my god. Oh no, hell! Wait, what? Or is this, I don't think this is hell or... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Lenny. Oh no. Okay, it is not hell. I doubt it is hell. Oh boy. I don't know, obviously he's not going to listen. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. Ten years ago. Oh boy, something is going on in Symphonica. Yeah, okay, so something is going on in Symphonica, like... <laughs> like, these type of big organizations kind of have, like, their fair share of skeletons in their closet. So, I'm sure it's something like that. Like, maybe all the D2 suddenly, are, like, you know, uh, was born because of Symphonica. Or something like that, I'm guessing it's going to go. So it won't surprise me if they say something like, oh, you know what, like 10 years ago, 
Symphonica was like, you know, conducting an experiment or something and something went wrong. The D2 came into being and this happened. So it won't surprise me if it is actually something like that. So we'll see. And yeah, this I'm I'm sure this is this won't be much more. Like you know, like I think this will probably be eleven or twelve episodes max or thirteen. As you know, like uh, animes go, those sh as short animes. Oh, the ending changed. All this time we've been seeing Anna kind of like you know, um, looking down and with a sad face, but this time. okay okay anyways as i was saying so yeah it's probably going to be 11 12 or 13 episodes not more than that because it seems as if it's kind of trying to like you know wrap everything up that's the end into a conclusion all right so that was episode number nine okay this was a like you know kind of like a calm before the before the storm episode you know <laughs> okay okay before we start here um one thing like i want to like you know this is just a thought and okay first of all we go to like you know we reach america and we meet the mom and dad the sister lotte and she conducts the tests and says that the problem here is that since both of you like, you know, since uh, destiny is not natural, she came into being because she was dying and she, you know, like something actually inside her connected with Tuck and both of them are kind of like a symbiotic relationship in a way you, I can, you can say because uh, uh, yeah, destiny is consuming Tuck's life force to keep alive herself while Tuck is also like, you know, depending, depending on uh, uh destiny and that's why she he can also like you know have this type of enhanced abilities during conducting and now obviously this is very simple to understand how this is going to go um if this goes on tact and destiny both of them will kind of end up consuming each other and most you know like no not both of them sorry uh destiny is going to end up consuming tact and that will be the end. Uh, Tuck will probably die like that. And since Destiny is after Tuck's death, since Destiny won't have a person to consume life force from, she'll also probably end up being dead. So it's like both of them will end up being dead if this kind of continues. Like this is how this is going. And if they try to live a normal life, they can probably live longer. You know, probably when they get old, they'll die from natural death. That's a possibility. If they keep going this way, it won't end well. It'll, they'll probably die very early. So this is what is happening. Now, here's the thing. Um, as I said, I know this is based on a game. Now, one thing, the game this, this is based on has still not been released. Um, it's not even the JP. Uh, I think the JP, or the, yeah, the JP. The JP version has been released. It's still under development or something. I don't know um it's out in like you know like the the main stuff is out there it's been listed but it's it's there's no release date nothing like that they they plan on i'm guessing releasing it next year or something probably so the thing is like i kind of you know was curious about it and i checked out a few of the um clips that um tact op has you know the game i'm talking about and i kind of saw there Tuck was there and there were a lot of other um, music arts. Obviously Destiny was also one of them. There was Valkyrie, there was um, uh, a few others I don't remember but there are, were quite a few other um, music arts as well and it same, seemed as if like you know sh he was contracted with them or something. I don't remember but it was something like that. Obviously I didn't understand anything. It was basically seeing the pictures like it was a little trailer or something. I don't know. Uh, something like that so obviously tact is well and good over there destiny is there everyone is there so i'm guessing uh, i think this either this is like a parallel world story of that you know it's either that or this is a prequel to that because here we can see tact and destinies are only only here we got acquainted with a few other music arts but that was just it we kind of got a little bit of valkyrie a little bit you know in uh, one of the previous episodes only one episode and a few other all the other music arts as well we 
just know them and nothing more than that that's just it so it's probably that that is like a sequel to this and you know like they i'm, I'm guessing they basically decided to make a game on this like you know taktopi destiny uh taktopi this game and they thought that you know what let's like make a, an anime which will probably serve as a prequel to this now as i'm saying i have no idea whatever i'm saying it's all based on my guesswork it might be completely something different as i said it, this might all can also become like a parallel world story or something you know like usually how it kind of goes with anime and games like whenever there's like a spin off or something it's usually like a um different universe or parallel world story or something like that the things that are not canon so <clears throat> either of it either this is a prequel or this is like a spin-off parallel world story or something so my bets are on this is a prequel because they're basically showing us how tucked came into being and since if this is actually a prequel to the game where tucked is all right and destiny all of them are okay i'm guessing something will probably happen within this last few episodes where they will probably find a way for both of them to exist uh, both Tuck and Destiny to exist. I don't know. Maybe like you know, I, making multiple contracts with uh, other music arts. Like that's a possible way I can see this ending. I'm not sure. You know, because in the game, I, like you know, obviously it's a gacha game. So in a gacha game, usually what happens is like the main character, and there are a lot of other characters that you get to like you know you get from the gacha. You can summon and everything. And usually how it actually goes is that. Um, the main character is there and either you are friends with all the characters that you are summoning or something else For example in Freight Grand Order, this is like master she like, you know, he or she uh, Summons all the servants and you know the people that you summon they're like in part of your team something like that So that is like a gacha game basic structure and I'm sure since that OP is also going to be a gacha game most probably that will be the main protagonist there and all the other music arts that you'll be able to summon will be characters that he will be contracted to or something. I'm not sure. And this will probably be the free character that they give out in the beginning and you'll already be contracted with her. It will some be probably be something like that. So in that way, I'm guessing this ending, if this is actually a prequel, it probably might try to do something like that and try to link it with the game. And yeah hopefully this is just a uh, speculation as i said like no one has any idea what's going to happen because this is like a completely new thing this anime no one knows how it's going to end what's happening everything is like new for everyone who's watching so obviously this is a guess completely um <laughs> i might be completely wrong or some things like you know some parts that i'm saying might come true but yeah, this is just how I see this kind of going, you know, otherwise I don't see any ways this is going to end because we have the game which is going to come. So, yeah, you know, anyways, so I don't know. We'll see. There are a few episodes left. I'm sure they're kind of going to explain more stuff. So, yeah, anyways, so yeah, here, uh, the whole thing, uh, you know, as I said, like, you no, know, they kind of did the tests on Tuck and destiny both of them and came to that conclusion and then they had a little nice little time of <laughs> hanging around you know eating stuff buying stuff and just hanging around and they kind of showed us that part where there's like the memorial now i don't know if that's actually uh um that's that i think asahina kenji that was his name uh if that was his memorial i don't think it was i'm not sure because i remember like he said something like oh don't you guys like you know in the previous ep one of the previous episodes in the bar he said something like oh don't you guys hate hasaina kenji because of him the whole like, you know music had to be stopped or something so since in this episode he says something like oh this memorial is for a person a musician who was very respected by everyone I don't think it's the Asahina Kenji. I, I'm not sure. I, I might be wrong though. But yeah, hope most probably it's not. It's not Asahina Kenji. Yeah, yeah, obviously because um, I think he died somewhere else while he was conducting or something. He was coming. I don't remember, but it was something like that. So yeah, obviously this is not Asahina Kenji's memorial. 
but yeah anyways and then Cosette and uh, not Cosette sorry um Anna and Lotte they kind of are were coming back and uh Anna kind of explains how much destiny has actually changed you know matured you can tell like you know call it like that uh coming this far and all that stuff and how tact has also kind of changed and how you know it's, it's so good to see them and now here's the thing um after that we kind of see lotte still doing the research and stuff heaven comes in now obviously this is the main headquarters so heaven will be here hell is also here most probably so but the way he kind of she kind of looked at lotte i don't know like what are their plan like the whole sagan uh heaven and hell three of them they're mad suspicious like i don't know as like you know as in the end we kind of see uh lenny calling them and lenny kind of giving them a chance to go away from here and just be happy with their life don't like you know involve yourself in this but tuck chooses to stay here and fight and Lenny in the end says something like, all right, so are you ready to face the truth? The truth of Symphonica, the truth of D2 or everything. Now, as I said, like usually these type of huge organizations, you know, most of the time, these type of things has their fair share of stuff that they want to hide from the world. Their fair shares of skeletons in the closet. So um, I'm guessing it's also something similar in this in this as well now symphonica they always like you know like the, the seeing saga and heaven and hell always kind of made me feel a little bit suspicious about them the way especially saga and saga is very suspicious <laughs> so we don't know we don't know and probably the next episode len will tell us everything so at that like you know probably in the next episode i'll be able to judge whether it is you know what type of things do they have hidden you know and what are they trying to hide is it something very serious or is it something mildly serious or is it something completely different so we'll see but i'm guessing it might be something like that you know like as i said like probably like you know like the the whole d2 emergence and everything it won't actually surprise me if symphonica was the real reason behind it so <sighs> yeah like it, it won't really surprise me if len says something like that in the next episode so yeah we'll be we'll have to wait for the next episode and tact has decided to fight so yeah i don't know how this will end but if this really is the prequel to the game it will end in a happy way if it's not if this is not a prequel to the game if this is something completely different a spin-off or something we don't know how this is going to end like this anime as soon as i started it it gave me vibes of something sad happening in the end you know it gave me that type of vibes and um honestly speaking i really don't want that because yeah sad endings is really not my cup of tea so <clears throat> like 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 the the journey can be sad i can handle that as long as the ending is happy everything is all fine and good for me but if the ending in itself is sad, like, no, that's really not something that I, I like, you know, prefer. So I really hope this ends in a good way. And as I said, if this is like a prequel to the game, everything will end good because the game is there and the, in the game, everyone is OK. So, <laughs> so, like, you know, like, I, I, I guess if this is a prequel, everything will be fine by the end of it. If it's not, then I don't know, like anything can happen possibilities are infinite so hopefully the good possibility is the one that actually ends up happening so yeah that's it so that was this uh, episode this was episode number nine yeah nine of talk op destiny so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of Duck OP Destiny. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.